guys, Brian and PS4 Trophies, and welcome back to my seventh part of the Witness walkthrough, which means we're gonna unlock another laser. Now this one is gonna be the Quarry Laser. Now this one's got some pretty difficult puzzles. I know a lot of people have trouble with even the door here, but basically white and uh, black here, you just gotta separate the whites from the blacks. Anyways, uh, there's also another way you can go in here from the uh, the orange tree forest, shady uh, forest uh, path too. There's a, another door over there. And here's another Tetris puzzle here. You're going to have quite a bit of these uh, in this uh, area. If you do not know how to do these, highly recommend consulting my Marsh uh, video, part six, where I really go in depth and exactly how to solve the Tetris puzzles and really the thought process that goes into it. So again, that's part six of this walkthrough because the Marsh is where you have the tutorials really teaching you how to do it. Anyway, we're here in the quarry now, and there's two areas there by the uh, boathouse, and then of course the main building here, and then the lasers up there above. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go into this building here, probably the easier of the two, and I use the term easy loosely, but here are just two simple puzzles. I probably could have walked a little closer to the door for you so you could see them, but uh, these are pretty basic. If you can't get uh, past these puzzles, then you're in a world of uh, trouble. So uh, fairly simple. But again, with all of these uh, walkthroughs, I do highly recommend you try to do them the first you know, time on your own. Spend some time trying to figure out because the gratification is great if you can figure it out. So I just opened the door there just because and then this is the ramp door. Now we're introducing a new element to puzzles that I haven't uh, shown up until the, this point. And that's the uh, eliminator, I believe is what people are calling it. And that is the, the, uh, the icon that is going to actually eliminate one piece, whether it be a shape or one puzzle piece or whatever, eliminates it from the board. So you'll see here, there's a black dot in the top left corner. So what we're going to do is just leave it there and that eliminator piece is going to remove it, thus allowing you to solve the puzzle. So same thing here, I'm going to leave one black dot and then eliminate it. Now the item you're eliminating has to be in the same section as the eliminator piece, which is the one in the center there. And if there is an eliminator, you have to use it. You can't just go and get all the dots and uh, expect to, to succeed. So these are pretty basic. This is really kind of a introduction to how the uh, mechanic works. All right, so now that that's done, we're going to actually activate another ramp and you use this device here. Uh, if you get the black dot on the top, it'll go up. Uh, want to go down you would just get the black dot on the bottom instead now it's a pretty lengthy uh, elevator so I just skipped it uh, there's a door across the way I'm gonna open it you don't need to if you don't want to now we're gonna make our way all the way across and around on the catwalk and the start of another set of puzzles again there's an eliminator here and what we need to do is separate the red from the green but we're gonna leave one incorrect piece in the section with the eliminator so you'll see here I got the one green separated and then two red and a green. The green was wrong, but the eliminator corrected it essentially for us. So feel free to pause it after I, I complete a puzzle, really just so you can kind of look at it and, and you stare at it for a minute, you'll, uh, it'll, you know, it'll click. You'll be like, oh, I get it. Same thing here, I'm leaving one green in the wrong section. And then really kind of the trick when doing this is trying to figure out which one you're supposed to leave with the eliminator. Sometimes it's obvious, sometimes it's not. This one was a little less obvious. This one, of course, the, uh, the leave the uh, green, I believe, is the one right underneath it. There we go. This one was pretty easy. I'm just going to leave the dark blue in the bottom right corner. So it's easy to section off the two corners up here. There we go, we have a misaligned green one in the center section, which is going to, of course, be corrected for us. And that's it, now we're gonna go in here. And now this puzzle looks kind of complicated, it's a lot of elements at play here all at once. But once you realize kind of the best starting point is right here, 
and then you just kind of it really will kind of just kind of come to you as, as, as you draw it out at least it did for me I imagine a few of you it's gonna be troublesome but for some reason this one just kind of instantly clicked for me now I know it looks like I'm solving these puzzles quickly and as I mentioned in the previous parts uh, there's a lot of video editing done here what you're not seeing is the 10 minutes of me failing at a puzzle over and over alright so this is gonna be our last puzzle in this uh, in this building I'm gonna leave that one dot there and then cordon off all the rest of these and that's it for this building and actually that uh, completed one of the wires that is going to the laser there's two of them that goes to the laser there's a stairs here if you want to use these uh, kind of clever here you actually draw stairs and now we're gonna go outside except I make uh, one flaw here that is not the way I want to go that's actually going up to the laser we need to go to the boathouse now if you hadn't been here uh, you can actually activate a boat and that boat uh, you can use to kind of uh, travel around the island so feel free to do that I'll show that uh, to you when we get to that point but here's another new puzzle type for, uh, at least in, in my uh, walkthrough here and this is the stars now you're gonna pause it after I'm done with this and you're gonna have to really look at it but what you need to do is section off two of one color you can have a, a white and blacks together but you have to have two no less no more of each color in each section so you see near the start is there's two white and then the next section there's two black with uh, two white so pause it at the end and you'll really see it but you need to section off two and, and all of these in groups of twos again you can uh, mix and match black and white together it just you would have to have two of each again no more no less and another Tetris puzzle uh, again I cover that pretty deeply in part six so if you want a little bit more clarification on how those work um, I think I do an okay job explaining it there's some elements that are just confusing maybe even still so, uh, to me but all right now that we're done with those two uh, you have this thing here and this is actually going to activate a ramp and how this section works is we're going to uh, go up and then we are have to move the ramp left and right so let's just go ahead and activate this and we're going to start going up top and there are some brutal puzzles up here at least for me I'll admit I'm probably not the most intelligent person playing this game not by a not by a long shot and in fact a few of these up here I actually had to go uh, search out the answers for on the internet myself which is uh, I'm, you know I'm not ashamed to admit again here you got the the Tetris pieces but you got the eliminator so uh, there's the, the the four blocks was obvious obvious because there's only a three by three square there this one here is pretty simple introducing the eliminator with the Tetris pieces though this can be kind of tricky but those first few were pretty obvious this one is a little bit more difficult you have several shapes we definitely eliminated that L-shaped one though and that is the final one there that one took me uh, that took me probably one of the longest ones here alright so I kinda screw up a little bit here I didn't know exactly what I was doing uh, what you're gonna do is use this uh, board here just to my left and you're gonna use that to move the ramp left and right so it's pretty obvious to me I mean the puzzles not very difficult now where you want the the, the platform to land will depend on which one of those pieces you want to uh, eliminate so what's gonna happen is that thing is going to the ramp is gonna slowly make its way over very slowly so I'm gonna do a cut here and I'm doing it again and it's gonna head back the opposite way now you see I changed the positioning of which one I eliminated so skip forward again I activated it and then I jumped on it and used it as a transport for some reason that wasn't obvious to me 
So now that we finally uh, made it here, uh, we're going to have, uh, actually let's go ahead and activate that, a little bit gate on the opposite side. And now we got the eliminator with the stars. These are combined, this can make things difficult, but you know that two of them have to be together. Again, no more, no less of each color. So again, you can have orange and have green in the same uh, section, but you can't have three or one of each color. This one was a little tricky. These, you can see there's only one uh, star of each color, so you know you have to eliminate it because you can't have just one. This one's not too difficult. We are going to eliminate the one right there. I'll admit the uh, the elimination mechanic was probably the one most confusing to me right off the bat. It took me a long time to really kind of figure it out until I again searched the internet because I had no idea. Okay, we eliminated the one in the middle star in the top there. This one we're eliminating one of the Tetris pieces. All right, uh, just a couple more puzzles. Uh, that one's actually going to be our last one. We have three more to do prior to doing this one. And it's the three here just to the right. Now these are probably the most difficult ones I've come across thus far. Minus a couple miscellaneous ones out in the open world, but this one uh, was pretty obvious to have. You have to get rid of the star here on the first one, since there, again there was only one. Now in this one, there's three stars, so you know you have to get rid of one of those. And the obvious choice would be, of course, that first one. All right, next one we got four stars, so we're going to eliminate the top Tetris piece. And now the final puzzle. Well, not quite the final puzzle, but uh, you'll see momentarily. Uh, this is very easy. It's probably actually a couple correct answers now that I'm looking at it. But that's the easiest one right there. Single out the first one. Now from here, we're going to go up to the uh, the laser. And at the base of the laser, laser, there's actually one puzzle we do have to do. It is not very difficult. And that was where the boat was located. So feel free to call up the boat. It'll rise from the, uh, the greater depths of the, the sea there. And so we're going to go inside. Now I make one critical mistake. And I want to see if you guys catch it before I ca caught it. So we're going to go out the back door here. And we're going to head towards the laser. Now let me know if you've caught the mistake. That's right, I'm heading the wrong way. <laughs> Had myself a, a senior moment, I like to call them. Alright, so the laser's right there, you can see the one final puzzle. Activating this laser is going to get you the quarry trophy. It's a gold trophy, as are most of the trophies in this game. So just go ahead and complete that. You will earn your trophy. A well-earned trophy, if I do say so myself. And uh, maybe not as frustrating as the marsh, uh, the swamp area with all the Tetris puzzles, but it can be uh, quite frustrating. So thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you guys on part eight. And until next time, happy trophy hunting.